Good morning and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. I'd like to say a particular welcome to all of the new subscribers that have joined in the last few weeks. Thank you really so much for subscribing and staying subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be a thing people subscribe and then they unsubscribe like within a day later it's like I don't know so thank you so much I'm actually getting closer to the 1000 subscribers now I am so excited so 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 excited right anyway so today I am coming to you with another foundation review I mean I know two foundation reviews in one week it's like what so it's one that has been around for probably about a month now she says don't quote me on that. It's 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 a fairly new launch. It's um there's been quite a few reviews already online on YouTube. So you know if you want to see other people's reviews, then please you know go ahead and have a look because it's always good to compare to see different people's experience of a product. So I am a woman of a certain age. Okay, I'm I'm 49 years old, but I have got very oily skin. I've also got very blemished skin and hyperpigmentation. So I always like to test out foundations to see how they perform with you no know, with my skin. And I think people are always just curious to see how the foundation performs on people with um, oily skin as well. So if that's something that interests you, please continue to watch. The foundation I am reviewing today is the one from Dior. So it's the Face and Body Foundation. I think they call it Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Look at this packaging. Oh my God, how pretty is that? I'm so pleased. So I bought it direct from the Dior website. Um, it actually wasn't that bad in price. It's £29, which I think is really affordable for a, a Dior foundation. I have um, reviewed another foundation by them probably about a year and a half ago and it was the Dior Skin Forever or Forever Skin so I'll put the link of that foundation how I got on with that one up here, up there. It's up there somewhere anyway and uh, let's see how we get on with this one so as I said it's 29 pounds which is actually really quite affordable for Dior just try to work out how to open it don't want to destroy it it's like getting a wedding present it's so beautiful isn't it okay let's have a look Okay, so that's the packaging inside. Um, I think I just ordered the foundation. They've also, in the backstage collection, they have got foundation, they've got eyeshadows, they've got highlighters, and I think they've got a contour palette as well. It might be a contour highlight palette together. Um, I wasn't really that interested in any of those products. They all looked a little bit too pale. The, the, the contour palettes didn't look like they'd be deep enough for my skin type. And also I've got to watch my budget. I've kind of hit my budget for this month now. I have spent quite a bit. So I've got to slow down now, girl. No more spending this month. I've got a holiday to go to next month after all. So look, there we go. That's what it looks like. So what's this? It's a little pouch. What's in here? probably samples isn't it they always give samples of some sort what we got yep we've got a sample oh j'adore I like this foundation it's actually one of my favorite foundations I've got a big big bottle of it I'm just looking at it over there which I bought um, on what do you call it in um, what's a customs free area in the airport I got it from that area there so yeah there you go really nice perfume so I won't put that on now I'll just put that in my little handbag and this is the star of the day this is the foundation so this is the box it comes in so the shade i got was 6.5 n i really don't know again you know you just can never tell what the shades are going to be um from what i understand the deal backstage i think they said they've tried to keep most of the foundations in a neutral undertone or am i talking about another foundation I've looked at a couple of people as well on, on YouTube who have got sort of similar shades to me. Um, I'm just trying to think. There's, I think there was Spoken Reveries. I looked at her video. She's got a very red undertone. So I think she went for 7.5N. Then there was Brunel, um, Brunel SP. She's another British YouTuber. She went for, did she go for 7 or 
7.5 but what if the shade she went for it was too dark for her as well and she was actually more on the reddish she's more on the yellow undertones as well so I thought going by those two I thought I would try the 6.5 it was between the 6.5 or the 7 so I thought let me just try 6.5 and cross my fingers so let me take it out of the box and see okay actually this looks hopeful so that's the box so it's like a frosted glass um i wouldn't go completely by the color of the glass because frosted glasses can tend to they can kind of distort the shade so that's what the bottle looks like you get how much do you get in it you get 50 ml 1.6 fluid ounce that's a lot so the standard amount you get in foundations normally is um is 30 mils one fluid ounce so to get nearly double that that's like what 70, nearly 75 percent more than you'd normally get that's not bad for t for especially for 29 pounds that's that's good right okay let's see what they say about this product before i apply the foundation i am going to do a wear test today it's not going to be a long wear test um because it's already quite late today it's already after 11 so the description of the product it says the Dior backstage face and body foundation is the Dior makeup artist's secret weapon to create an instantly flawless complexion with ultra buildable coverage from a natural nude glow to to high coverage perfection the finish they say is um, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation is tested and approved by 100% of Dior professional makeup artists with its fluid texture and second skin finish. The ultra buildable foundation offers custom made intensity. What does that mean? Okay, um, so it says photo ready finish for 95% of women and they say it's extreme conditions proof for 91% of women. Um, there are is it 40 shades thanks to its 40 shades including 16 intensities and six undertones the new Dior backstage face and body foundation suits all skin types so or all skin tones so that's kind of cool isn't it um, backstage inspiration it's my star product I wanted 16 different intensities but particularly wanted an undertone undertones of pink olive yellow beige in total there are 40 colors so every woman can find the shade that best matches her skin tone explains peter phillips creative and image director for dior makeup and peter's tips are what does he say its natural and luminous finish is also an essential for the body revealing the skin's radiance while camouflaging minor imperfections on the de decollete and shoulders for example okay so there you go i have to admit i'm not into wearing foundation on my body well just the idea just kind of freaks me out a little bit but there you go but the, look at that shade range it does look pretty impressive hope that shows up okay can you see that so it is going right across so that's a good shade range okay right so i have already moisturized my skin so I used um, the Nippon Fab SP30, so I used that. I have put um, the Figs and Rouge primer on, which is like a HD matte, soft focus matte veil. I'm gonna put my standard on because I'm testing a foundation out. So Becca Ever Matte Paula's primer. So put a little bit of this on. Oops. I'm not going to put any concealer on because I want to see how this foundation actually does. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do half my face with a sponge and half my face with a brush. So the first thing I need to do is bring you in so you can see a little bit more clearly. How's that? Close enough? A bit more? Is that all right? Okay, that's cool. Right one sponge and foundation. It doesn't say if you should shake it or not, but I always believe just shake these things. As long as it doesn't do the square, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I was just gonna say, as long as it doesn't do the squirty thing, like the, um, what was the other one I tested the other day, the Benefit one, but it has, and again, it's another squeezy bottle, so that's all good. The colour looks like it should be okay, so just wipe some of that on. Okay, squeezy bottles are the way to go, obviously. Okay. Well, it doesn't look orange like the um, the Benefit one did when I first tried it on. Okay. 
but it's already kind of giving me a light coverage so I'm just going to do a little bit more here let that dry down and then I'll do the other side with a sponge and then we'll see what the coverage is like okay so that's one half of my face using a sponge can you see that okay should I bring you in a bit more so you can see that looks all right actually kind of like that the color looks good the color looks better than the hello um, what is it called again the hello happy foundation it looks good it looks I'm, I'm happy with that so yeah good choice again yeah I like that it looks like it is going to be a natural finish so let me just finish let me just let that dry down and I'll do the other side with a brush have I got a clean brush available? Okay, what have I got here? I will just oh, my God. oh this will do. This is a um it's a tart brush, so this will do. Let's do that. You see all these grey hairs on the bottom of my chin? This is not good. I bought a product. It's like this thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like a, a motorised thing that can remove hair, facial hair. It's supposed to be really gentle. And everyone's kind of loving it at the moment. I've seen versions of this product um, on Instagram and QVC have got one. So I, I bought it off QVC as per usual. And I will film me using it. But it's charging at the moment. So it'll probably be tomorrow when I film that. Well, the foundation blends out beautifully and as per usual with a brush, much better coverage. So it's the usual really. If you want a more um, a, a lighter, more sheerer coverage, use your sponge. But if you want a brush, if you want a more fuller coverage, use your brush. What is it with me in contact lenses these last few days? This one is irritating the hell out of me again. So I am liking the colour, liking the finish. I'm just going to do both sides of my face now with the brush and then I'll give you the time of application and finish the rest of my makeup. Working from home again today. Seems to be a thing I'm doing. It's like every time I'm working from home, I film a video. Terrible. Yeah, I like the finish of this foundation. So I'm, I'm still quite close to you, so you can see, but I like it. So I would say I've got two layers on at the moment and it's giving me a nice coverage. It feels very light and comfortable. Um, I wouldn't say it's as light as the Hello Happy foundation, um, but it's still quite light and comfortable. It's, it's bearable, it's fine. It's, n it's nowhere near like a heavy coverage foundation, but it's giving me a nice natural finish. It actually looks like, I think I could get away with saying that I haven't got any makeup on at all. It's, it's that kind of natural finish. I, I, I like this actually, I really like this. Um, this coverage you can still see little bits of my skin coming through so I could obviously build that up but I'm not going to I'm going to leave it like that because I'm not that fussed about having a little bit of skin poking through but I, I like how this foundation looks at the moment right let me give you the time of application as I said it is quite late it's 11 29 let me get the clock app up so there you go call it 11 30 so I'll wear this foundation for what, five, six hours? It's actually summer solstice today, so it's supposed to be the longest day of the year. So I should have plenty of sun. So I'll see how long I can wear the foundation for before I decide to take it off. So at least four hours, hopefully about eight hours. All right, so let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll do my photographs and I'll come back to you later. All right, see you in a bit.
Hi, good evening. I am back and I'm here to give you my final thoughts of the foundation I was wearing today, which was the, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Let's take it out of the box, which was this bottle here. I'm wearing it in the shade 6.5N, so 6.5 neutral. Right, so I put the foundation on, I think it was about 11.30, I can't remember. Time now is, let's get my clock app time now is quarter past six so i've been wearing the foundation for six uh, six and three quarter hours is that right you know me in maths right so how did this foundation do so when i review a foundation i use my system called tops so the t stands for transfer the o stands for oil control the first p stands for performance so how does the foundation apply does it um, blend easily does it melt does it fade does it separate all of that stuff um the second P is for price, so how does the price compare to other products in the range? And the S stands for the shade selection available. So let's go through this, shall we? So the the transfer and the oil, I, I review those together and I use my blotting sheet, so my trusted blotting sheets. And what I tend to do is just I blot my face and I look to see how much oil and foundation transfers on this. So a good foundation will use one to two blotting sheets. Um, those that foundations that don't perform so well will use three plus uh, blotting sheets. So let's do the first one, shall we? Sheet one. So sheet one, a little bit of transfer on there, but it's mainly oil on that one. So that's sheet one. Sheet two. Again, oil and a little bit of foundation. Don't know if I need another blotting sheet. Let's have a quick look. No, I think that's enough. Shall I bring you in closer so you can see for yourself? Yeah. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Doesn't look too bad at all. Let me bring you back out again. So, transfer. Well, there was a little bit of foundation on these two sheets here. Just a little bit, but not much. So, considering the foundation was, was worn for just under seven hours, that's not bad at all. So, I think for transfer, I'm actually going to give this a good nine and a half out of ten. Because that is not bad at all. Mm. Oil control. Yeah, same thing. Just the two sheets here. So, it has there is oil. I mean, I've got very oily skin, so I'm going to produce oil. It's just what it is I'm going to produce oil but again this is not bad again another warm day not as humid as it was um on Monday when I tested out the hello happy foundation but it was still a warm day I haven't I didn't do the same sort of um strident test as I did with the hello foundation because I haven't gone into any warm kitchens today but saying that though I did cook at home so but it's not the same as going into a commercial kitchen so it probably hasn't been as tested as much as the other foundation but I can say that um even after four hours there was hardly any oil production at all i would say the oil started to come through in the last hour and a bit so i think for oil control this foundation is pretty good it's not bad at all so again for oil control i'm going to give this an eight and a half out of ten because you know it's not bad at all so transfer nine and a half out of ten oil control eight and a half out of ten now if I'm looking at performance, so when I look at performance, I'm looking at how the foundation applied. Did it apply easily? Did it blend out easily? How did the other products apply on top of the foundation? Um, how did it feel during the day? Did it feel comfortable? Did it feel greasy? Did it oxidize? Um, has it melted? Has it faded? Has it separated? All of that. So that all comes under performance. And overall, I haven't got any issues with this foundation at all. I think it looks good. Now that I've blotted, it still looks pretty good to me. It, it hasn't oxidized at all. The, the color is still true to what it was this morning, even though oil did start to produce. Um, Cause when oil comes through, that's when the foundations really start to oxidize and it starts getting darker. Um, but the shade is still really good. Um, it feels very comfortable, fairly lightweight, not as lightweight as the Hello Happy, but still very comfortable. 
hasn't melted little bit of fading just up here but again not significant around the perimeter where I usually do my most fading again just a little bit but God's hardly worth talking about um, just again around the edges so no fading no melting under my glasses where under my glasses where I've been wearing my spectacles um, there's not even any fading under where the frames have been resting on my cheeks so and I've got some significant cheeks going on here and there's nothing even under that so I'm I'm impressed I'm really impressed with the performance of this so I am yeah I'm really impressed I think I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 for performance I think this is really really good price 29 pounds um so it's a high-end foundation obviously and I think I think the price considering what it is so it's in the same bracket as you know the Hooders, the Fenties, the the Benefit Hello Happy I did the other day, your Lancome it's all up there so price I think it's price wise with all the other and products in that range I think it's more than fair I actually think this £29 is actually pretty good because they could have easily have charged £35 for this um, so I think £29 under that £30 mark I think it's really good again so it's still an expensive foundation at the end of the day it's not exactly £10.99 is it so I think for price I'm going to give this 9.5 out of 10 because it's 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 one of the better priced ones in the high end range foundation so I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 shade selection well it's 40 shades and they've got all the undertones considered and I've got a perfect match here that's an easy 10 out of 10 that's an easy 10 out of 10 I've got no problems with this foundation at all it's actually been a really nice foundation um I haven't done a flashback photograph with a, which I should have done with a hello happy one actually because it had SPF in it this one hasn't got any SPF in it so I imagine there's not going to be any flashback problems with it but I mean the photograph which you'll see at the end of this video it photographs beautifully it looks good it's got a beautiful natural finish I like this foundation so hmm so yeah if you're willing to go out there and find your shade I mean the descriptions of the shades on the website are really helpful because I was a I was able to find my shade quite easily and again I looked at other people on YouTube to see what they've done so I could get an, I, I could gauge my my shade from other people's reviews I think this is a really nice foundation so yeah do you all yeah yeah liking this liking this a lot if you've got this foundation and you've tried it tell me what you think um, again I've got very oily skin and I think this foundation has performed really really well on my skin and again going by what other people have done on YouTube so people with dry skin normal skin combination skin they've had no problems with this foundation as well so it seems that it's good for all skin types and all skin tones so yeah deal I've got something here it's it's dare I say it I actually think it's better than authentic because I know everybody compares everything to Fenty I actually think it's better than the Fenty um, I'm gonna compare it to the Lancome and I think it's very similar to the Lancome it's lighter than it's like a light version of the Lancome foundation with the Lancome foundations they've introduced some extra shades in between the original ones because in the Lancome um, ultra was it 24 hour idol taint idol foundation I've got the shade 13 but they've got they've introduced some newer shades in between like 13.2 13.5 and all that sort of thing so I could probably find a better match in the Lancome now but going by what I've got with the Lancome I think this foundation here this shade I've got here is has been a literally a perfect match for me I'm really really pleased with it I, I like it and I think this is going to be sitting on my dressing table as a foundation that I'll be reaching for quite often because so I have got some go-to foundations I go to all the time and this is going to be sitting on there with my bare pro and my cover effects play so yeah liking it if I compare this to the cover effects the cover effects is good but it's more suitable for winter I wouldn't wear the cover effects at this time of year because it's just a little bit too heavy for this time of year this is perfect for now so I'm pleased I'm really pleased but yeah tell me what you think is this something that you're considering is this something you're looking at buying for yourself if you've got it what did you think about it yeah just let us know down below in the comment box so that's it 
I'm going now. I've got some other videos I need to edit. Got quite a few videos I need to edit. I did quite a few today. It's just one of those days where I've just filmed like crazy. So um, yeah, I'm going to go and edit those. But let me know what you think. Don't forget if you've enjoyed this video to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Especially if you've reached this point, you might as well just subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press that notification bell next to the subscribe button because that will notify you when I do my next upload. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.